All right, uh, let's prove that uh, derivative of e to the x is equal to e to the x. All right, so before we start the proof, I'm going to assume this uh, following limit, uh, limit of e to the h minus 1 all over h as h approaches 0 is equal to 1. All right, I have a video for the proof of this limit, so if you're interested, uh, please take a look. All right, so let's start with the definition of the derivative. Using the definition of the derivative, derivative e to the x is limit as h approaches 0, uh, e to the x plus h minus e to the x all over h. All right, so I'm going to break it up into e to the x times e to the h, and e to the x has e to the x times 1, uh, which looks uh, something like this. All right, so you have a limit, and uh, you see that uh, e to the x is actually a common factor, and it has nothing to do with h, so e to the x are considered to be constant. So we can kick the constant outside. We're going to have a following limit. So you're going to have e to the x outside multiplied by a limit of e to the h minus 1 over h as h approaches 0, which is exactly the limit we have here, and then we know that it's that's equal to 1. So this is going to be uh, e to the x times 1, which is, of course, e to the x. That's why the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.